Hello. So we are back, but this time we have an interesting job. So this is a nice HP laptop. I mean, it's looking nice. Still have some foil on it. You know, it looks like new. Now, this job came from a local repair shop, a local computer shop, sorry. And he's saying, no picture, slow booting. Okay, that's what he's saying on the on the receipt, on the label. Uh, you know what? This this is so it's a, it's a very tricky fault. I mean, power on the laptop, and you can see it's coming on and it's on. I can hear the fan, but it's no picture on the screen. And uh, based on the fact they told us it's a slow booting, that's mean it probably is booting after a while. Now, boot, booting after a while can have so many causes. I mean, you can have a faulty hard drive. Yes, a faulty hard drive, it will give you no picture, yeah? Um, can give you no picture. You can have a faulty DVD drive. This has a DVD drive. You can have a faulty Wi-Fi card. You can have a, a, a faulty p uh, chipset, PCH. You can have a cr crack solder when the chip is getting hot. Actually, after a while, it starts working. You can have so many causes, yeah? So, uh, you see the laptop is still on, no picture, nothing. So let's open the laptop, start removing things, and uh, see from where is this problem. Okay, so the hard drive is out. Let's plug the charger. Plug in the charger. Where is the power button? The power button must be here, right? Let's show the pins. Oh. Okay, it doesn't work. Let's short with the ground. This should work. Yeah, the first pin. If you have this model, the first pin. Let's see, do we have picture? Still nothing. So you see, it can be anything, like anything, even the CPU, even anything can be anything the RAM memory can be here yeah. so we still have no picture on the screen you can see that good so how we can trigger the booting because it's saying slow booting usually you can trigger the booting we hit yeah, let me let me swap the the RAM memory or I can replace it yeah I can but probably it's not the RAM memory I mean, RAM memory can give you like no picture at all, but no like slow booting. One more time, pin number one. Yeah, pin number one. So we swap the RAM memory. And still nothing. Okay. On the CPU, we have 0 0.9, yeah? But this board is taking only 400 milliamps, a little bit too low, you don't think? Let's see the keyboard, if we have the, the caps lock uh, light. I can't believe the caps is present. No, the caps is flashing. No, it's not flashing. Uh, we have three flashes on the keyboard. Yeah, three. One, two. Two flashes on the keyboard. I don't understand how I missed that. Two flashes on the keyboard. One, two. Okay, let me let me do some research and see what two flashes means. Okay, so two flashes means a crop BIOS, yeah. Uh, I don't think we have a BIOS battery here. Let me take out the motherboard because I can't see any BIOS chip here. Let's have a look on the other side. So we took out the motherboard. We have a BIOS battery here. Look at nice small CPU. 
let's uh, let's reset the BIOS. Yeah, so the BIOS is reset. Let's plug the BIOS battery back. Let's try and power up this board. Okay, the screen is plugged in. Plug in the charger. Power on. Yeah, the laptop is on. And no picture. Okay, let me try and find a BIOS here and program the BIOS. 15 dash N. 273 SA BIOS. Let's try first, like the manufacturer is saying, to create a USB with BIOS on it. Yeah, Smart Touch. Okay, that's the one. Operating system Windows 10. 64 bits all drivers okay bias yeah good AMD CPU that's correct download save yeah let's run the program next 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 now let me let me plug a USB Good, so I plug the USB, next. Uh, refresh, but we cannot format now, we can't. Okay. Next. And now it's creating the USB with the BIOS. The recovery flash drive was created successfully. That's good, that's good. Let's try now. The keyboard. Yeah, like that. And now let's try it. Let's plug the USB, the charger on the you know, onto the laptop. And we have picture. We have picture. Check here. Check here. And now the fan is spinning at full speed. So keep in mind the B key. The B key. Writing new BIOS image. You see? It's pretty nice from HP. They did something like that. So basically when you, when you hold the B key down, the IO chip it will search. Actually not the IO chip the chipset it will search on the USB for the for the BIOS recovery image. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Let's wait, let's wait. I mean something doesn't make sense. I mean this is not a slow boot. This is a damaged BIOS. So uh, you know, I was misled by what they said. They said it's a slow bias. The problem is, it's very possible the customer told them that. So you see, this is an entire chain of misleading. But yeah, the bias was corrupt. That was the reason why we have two flashes on the on the caps lock. And you don't even need a programmer for HP, you know, you just plug the USB and you uh, recover the BIOS. It's verifying, you can see. 
Proper nice, proper nice. And BIOS recovery is complete. Enter. And it's coming on. Flashing BIOS, that's good. So he's still doing some magic there. A system BIOS recovery occurred. Okay, BIOS recovery, enter. No hard drive. So our laptop is fixed. All we have to do is to put it all back together and should work fine. So have in mind, yeah, if you have an HP laptop, that's the easiest way how you can recover the, the BIOS. I mean, you've seen how I, we made the USB just with the the BIOS uh, uh, exe file from their website. Let me put it all back together quickly. Uh, let's see if indeed it's working fine, yeah? See you in a minute. Okay, so it's all back together. Plug in the charger. And let's see. HP. And now he's doing some cleanup. But what it's interesting when this laptop start, they start doing Windows updates. Yeah. And this is interesting. I mean possible, you see, in those days we can see the laptop dying doing updates. But clearly the laptop is fixed. Okay. So I will stop uh, I will stop now. Just have in mind how the HP BIOS we can reprogram the BIOS with the USB. Just have in mind, yeah. It's quite easy. I'll stop here. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, like always. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.